Good morning. How are you? Well, back again. Now the shaving soap I'm going to be using today is Mr. Natty's or Mr. Natty Shave Care. Got it off eBay, £3.71 for 200ml. So you get two, two tubes, uh, lime basil and mandarin. And there's a lovely smell off it. And that's, that's the lather on it. Pretty good. Uh, razor today is from Razor Rock. I got it a couple of weeks ago. And this is the Razor Rock Tech 2. Which is this one. Unbrand, you know, it's got unbranded on the top. But it's the, the personal barber and other brands which we branded. I think there's many of them, I don't know how many. But this one on uh, shaving time costs £11.99. So with postage, I think it was about £14.95, I think. It's based on the Gillette Tech. Uh, no over well maybe a little overhang but not much uh, yes and I'll be using the Gillette 7 o'clock yellow right yo and I had a shower with Highland Spring fantastic stuff the smell of it, beautiful. Right, I'm gonna put some pre-shave on, wet my face first, and then get on with shave. Good old pears for pre-shave. Lovely set. It's it's it's, su it's subtle. I give it about a three out of ten. But it's nice. It's good lather on it for the price. There's all the friggin' floor. If I disappear, I've slipped on it. Oh, 
first pass mid aggression, I think. Or mild to mid, as they call it. Right, well. You slightly feel the blade. I first saw this soap on the uh, Paul H film. I think he did it last year, I think. And then it came into my head about a couple of weeks ago, uh, last week. Not a great uh, slick, but residual. No. Well, try and wet it all, boy. Yeah, it's not bad. I smell the mandarin more than I do the lime. I think I might get a UFO handle for you know the laser rock UFO UFO UFO. Uh, all the handles are right on it, but It's like these companies, that, you know, if you buy off them and then they want you to do a review on their bloody page, you know, and you don't have the bloody time. And then you send them a link to your video and they, do, they don't respond. They, they want you to put it on their web page. Oh, bollocks. Another bloody time for that, bollocks.
I know people like that. If, if a person, if people like their product, it shows in the sales. I think you always get some knob end going on these pages and then put a bullshit review and then just to try and put people off buying it. You know, I you get that a lot on, on Amazon. You always get some prick. Slicker now. Got it off eBay here. Yeah. Bloody hell, it is slick now. You can smell a little bit of basil, but it's nice, nice scent, very pleasant. I like citrus scents anyway.
Cracking right
bloody hell. Right. Right. Back in a sec, I just gotta do my head. I'm back. Right. So, this uh, Ray, Razorock uh, Tech 2 is a three piece, you know, three piece razor. And it's like that. Like the old, uh, well, what do you call it? The, the 1960s, the smaller one. It had the corners on it, didn't it? Yeah. Cracking shade that was. Well, go back to Witch Hazel. Citrus notes in there with leather on this one, it's like a leathery scent. Mm. With, with a slight hint of soapiness. I'll pop a bit more of that on. Oh, it's good stuff. Might be different to the one in America, I don't know. Do another one as a lighter one. So what else is in this? I should tell you. No. No, it didn't. Oh, it's beautiful stuff. Yeah. So we're going to finish off with. Loyal men expert, uh, Hydra energetic anti fatigue post shave balm. That was a mouthful. Oh, that's a bit too bloody much, isn't it? That wasn't pea size. <laughs> More like bloody. <laughs> That'll do though. was uh, Razor Rock Tech 2 uh, yes. uh, Mr. Natty's uh, Moisturizing Soothing Exfoliating Protective Shave Care Moisturizing Shave Cream Lime Basil and Mandarin Good soap 
And to finish off was the Witch Hazel and Wild Country. That's it. And that stuff. Right, take care all. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.